Yeah, appreciate uh, it. What is your thought on, uh, I've heard you talk about what you would cut out of government. What are your thoughts on what is what are the essential uh, functions of our federal government? The first is a nation without borders is not a nation. So I think that having and protecting our borders is a top function of the federal government of the United States. And so the irony is that a government that's doing everything that it actually shouldn't be doing, engineering, picking favorites among different industries or whatever in the private sector, raining money from on high like mana from heaven from the Federal Reserve, a cancerous proliferation of government bureaucrats metastasizing like a cancer throughout our country, all the stuff they should be doing, they are not doing the few things that they actually need to be getting done. Starts with protecting our border and providing for our actual national security. Yeah. I don't get it. I mean, we have this basic common sense to what a nation actually does. And so when you look at vulnerabilities of our country right now, we're more vulnerable to cyber attacks, super EMP, electromagnetic pulse attacks, especially events. Does that term mean anything to anybody, EMP? Good, actually. I'm glad to hear that. That's a good thing. Uh, it's probably biased compared to the rest of the country because you all are in Iowa during the caucus coming to an event like this. I don't think that's true across the rest of this country. But our electric grid is more vulnerable to being taken out in an EMP pulse attack that literally could wipe out about half the country in a matter of six months when you can't store your insulin in the refrigerator, your food doesn't stay cold, and planes fall out of the sky because our microchips depend on electric grid. So, our government that's supposed to provide national security from foreign threats of our own homeland is instead failing to protect our homeland, shipping money to Ukraine to protect somebody else's homeland. They're not even protecting it. It's going to some kleptocrat who's pocketing the money. Is failing to do what it needs to do right here at home. We have an invasion of our country. I know you're not supposed to say it that way. But if there was three million Chinese coming in on the Pacific Ocean, or three million people coming from Iran on our eastern border, we call that what it is. It's an invasion. It's not that any different when it happens on our own southern border as well. So providing for the basic defense of this nation, that doesn't mean pointless four wars. In fact, it means the opposite of that. Defending our own homeland. And then protecting against the incursion of the rights of our own citizens from backdoor threats that emerge even from other forms of government. And protecting the sovereignty of this country from institutions ranging from the WHO to the UN that are increasing the hostile to our own sovereignty. It's about protecting our own sovereignty and security. That's the job of the government. We're failing to do that while doing everything else. That's backwards. We're going to set it right on my watch. Hope that answers your question. Thank you.